The God of Cringe. That's right. I have an obligation. I promise to do this, and I am a man of my word. The God of Cringe, the cringiest man in the internet. Check the description box below, and you can see all his cringy affairs. This is a guy that can make a bunch of Trump supporters look sympathetic. That's right. The God of Cringe in the description box below. Check him out today. Keeps ticking like a metronome and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me out Oh, just let me out That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me out Oh, just let me out That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to we get me home We got a big one my balls keep telling me to let me out Oh, that shit just let me go. Oh, Broadcasting live from the heart of Europe, this is the most badass YouTube broadcast in all of the known land, ladies and gentlemen. I am Tommy C, and this is a very special shot from the point behind the glass. Dr. Zhivago! I'm supposed to have a fucking sound effect. Would I look effect. Bernie Sanders' nipple for free healthcare? That's, Damn that's, right. that's a good monkey. That's a good monkey. Yes. That's a good monkey. Yes. And our very special guest today, the guy, the, really the talk of the entire platform. Uh, Mr. Lieutenant Cobra, um, welcome uh, to my humble program. How are you, sir? Um, I'm fine. I'm glad to be here, lad. Thank, thank, thank you. Uh, thank you for coming. It, it's actually a real treat for us to have you on because we have a situation. All right, we're gonna couple cover a couple things. Um, I am. I've told you before. I'm not softballing you, but I do want to have a good time before I go in on you because uh, just to give a short story for anybody that doesn't know this. Lieutenant Cobra made a critical video of one million sub YouTuber Just Destiny, right? In that video, he suggested that he sexually exploited kids to get views um, in his video. Uh, Lieutenant Cobra's response was not to defend himself. It was to copyright strike Lieutenant Cobra, causing an absolute... I mean, how many hits did your video get? Like 6,000? Something like that? Um, you want about the original? The original video, they got struck down, yeah. Um, it only had 2,300 views, and then it got taken down. Unbelievable. That's it. <laughs> somebody's got Google Alerts on, Chivago. <laughs> yeah, I would say. Yeah, somebody's got Google Alerts on. All right, so he, take, he, he takes this sucker down, <coughs> deletes his Twitter. You, you stop me if I'm wrong on it. Scrubby, possible. thanks so much right off the bat. Uh, I'm going to strike Cobra on the video he made on me. <laughs> Did you make a video on Scrubby? Um, it was about when he was like blowing up and I looked at some of the content and it was like fake story time So I kind of oh. just talked about that but didn't really like insult him as a person or oh, I thought okay. his commentary was good to be fair Oh, oh, oh well, here's the thing, that was the real Scrubby and he's one of the biggest supporters of this show <laughs> <laughs> That was him, for real, that was 100% Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, So you only had about 2,000 views in this sucker, right? And he copyright strikes you Strikes you, doesn't claim it, doesn't do anything like that. Did you use some of his content in the video? Um, my intro Ooh. was some intense music, somebody complaining about him getting blocked by Just Destiny. Uh -huh. And it was about 20 to 30 seconds of just clips of Just Destiny saying some weird shit in his videos. You commentated over it? You think you, the video was in fair use and everything? Just to get that out of the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely. Okay. So it was a commentary video. You used part of his stuff, but used it in fair use. It's not, it's not like you yeah. made a total re-upload of Just just Destiny, right? No. Okay. All right. In this video, uh, what was your main problem with Just Destiny? My main problem was the fact that nobody had called him out on it. And uh, I think that... Called him out on what, exactly? Called him out. Just like your, I know you told the story a thousand times already, but act like uh, my audience is hearing it for the first time. What exactly did you call him out on? So things like titles, thumbnails, and even things that he said in the video, I didn't agree with at all. Mm -hmm. And I think it's kind of disgusting, the fact that he would say things like, she's only 14, she's only 13, and then have some girl like in skimpy clothing. That was something that I just don't agree with at all. You know, the girl in skimpy clothing. Was he criticizing the girls in skimpy clothing because they were in skimpy clothing? Or was he just kind of parading them around? When I watched the videos, it was more like, haha, this is stupid, she shouldn't be doing this. Mm -hmm. But as I thought, it, it just looks like he was promoting it. He's obviously, he doesn't, he's acting as if it's not right in that they shouldn't be doing this, yet you're then promoting it by making videos on it, whether or not you agree with it. 
I I see. So you so you think that it's sort of veiled exploitation. So he's literally going in there and criticizing these girls, but that's not his true intention. His true intention, and then you, I'm, I'm, you tell me, you stop me if I'm wrong. His true intention is to exploit these girls and put them out there in a sexual manner. Is that what you're saying? I think he knew that this would make a lot of money mm -hmm. by doing it because his fan base is mainly 12 year olds and people that co click on things like that will be 13 or 12 year olds edgy kids that think hard oh, this is cringy so i think it was more i'm going to make a lot of money out of this mm -hmm. and that's why i've done it but it's the actual where the thing where i'm querying is whether he's actually a nonce or not is actually what's in the videos themselves where he's calling them strip calling them strippers and that Okay, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get back to you on that because it's a different line of questioning. Um, did you did you were you lucky enough to hear Just Destiny's defense video? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what video? What treat? Let's let's go over some of this. This is incredible. Is it? And, and to me, this is a guy who just broke the law. Um, yeah. And 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 I I, I got to be honest with you. Um, I'm not. 100% behind your criticism because it involves getting into his head. Yes, he made a bunch of videos on it, but I mean, we'll get into that part later. Um, and we'll get <laughs> into you suggesting he's a nuns for Just possible. Destiny, 10 bucks. What is this nonsense? Strike incoming. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Just Destiny. Here we go. All right, guys, what's going on? It's JD. Uh, I know I haven't been posting for a while, and there are reasons for that. Um, just drama. Drama on the internet. Yeah, just drama. Just your regular run of the room. You got in a fight with the YouTuber. Yeah, yeah. No, you struck somebody <laughs> down, asshole. <laughs> this is initials. Just drama, J just JD. Drama. Just drama. Okay. No big deal. Things happen. Yeah. You know, you know, I've been dealing with a lot of things. A lot of different things that's like, have just got out of hand. So there was this kid named LT Cobra. Who Lieutenant. You don't know that? Well, made a video. I'll go buy either. You go, uh, it's, it, well, first of all, I'm ex-army. I, and, and we had a chat yesterday. Uh, you come from a military family. It was Lieutenant Cobra, yeah. correct? Not LT Cobra. Yeah, 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 I thought it is. What, what did you want? What did you mean it to be? Well, yeah, it's, it's Lieutenant Cobra, but I'm not too bothered whether it's oh, LT, okay. Lieutenant. Bothers me. Bothers me, who? <laughs> <laughs> On me about two weeks ago insinuating accusing or throwing out the conspiracy that i may be like some type of pedo or nonce as they call it did you suggest that that he was a nonce i i guess i did to be honest okay yeah do you think that you think that was a good idea well from my perspective i was merely asking the question whether it, this is what he enjoys doing is calling kids by these names and sexualizing them and mm. if if he if i believed he was a pedophile or yeah. nonce right same mm. word i would have marketed the videos like that there is nowhere in my thumbnails in my title well the two videos that suggested that he was a pedophile or nonce at all but you did you did wait a minute you did sort of suggest it with your jokes though but you didn't mean it literally yeah. is what you're saying yeah, because I didn't mean it literally. You did I, I, I it let it up for the public to decide that. Okay. Do you do 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 you think that there's something more going on than than some kind of um you know because do you think there's something going on here more than than what meets the eye? I see a YouTuber trying to make a buck. You know. Well, I re I was reached out by a few people mm -hmm. saying that Just Destiny had been contacting people on his Discord server. Now I don't know if this was true at, okay. at all. Um, I had. One person called Nate tell me about this girl that doesn't want her name leaked at all. But mm. she apparently was asked to send pictures by Just Destiny. Now, I don't know if this but is But you true. don't have any evidence of that. But it sounds like you believe it, though, correct? I, I don't know if I believe it. I even contacted him. I'm not sure if this is real or not. This could be somebody mm -hmm. asking for attention. Sure. His response to that was that she sent... She, she told him about it ages ago, way before this happened. Mm -hmm. I didn't... I've have any case for that in my second video. Right. I brushed on it, but I mentioned that there was no proper evidence to suggest it. Okay. So there was no need for that to be mentioned. Gotcha. All right, let's watch some of this uh, crybaby stuff. You know, he started pulling <laughs> clips and titles and thumbnails, which you guys have all seen from previous videos that I've made regarding Musical.ly Kids, right? 
And we all seen these videos. We seen how these girls in these videos were acting and dressing and whatever. But since I made videos on those topics, um, explicitly denouncing the actions of these kids in these videos, somehow he came away with the conclusion and the bright idea that he should make a video spreading rumors, speculating, and basically insinuating that I could possibly be a pedo. And not only was he doing that, he was he was actually trying to support his claims without any evidence whatsoever. Just all hearsay and speculation. And if you guys are subscribed to this channel... Well, that's not true because you you, you said, did you say yeah. it was because of the, uh, the amount of videos and... Yeah, there were thumbnails I'd shown, uh, titles I'd shown, and my trailer consisted of things about kids that you shouldn't really say, you know. Oh, really? I think, yeah, if the videos back up now, it's released a claim. Yeah, and I, I, you can I, have a look at that trailer. I forgot to admit, it, it, and this video is up for you guys to watch. He released the claim sometime this afternoon. It was just kind of out of nowhere. Did you know that was coming, by the way? Well, he didn't seem too bothered on Keemstar, mm. on Drama Alert, um, for say. Keemstar I, made him look great. I'll be perfectly honest with you. He did you no favors, kid. That was awful what he did to that guy. And uh, he's, uh, uh, Keem's, uh, uh, he's feeling it right now. Because uh, he's down 1K last time I checked today. He did you no favors. In fact, he made this guy who's completely unsympathetic. Because really, I don't know. I'm not a... Now that I know a little bit more about your criticism that goes deeper than just thumbnails, I'm a little more apt to it. But I, on the surface, when it's just thumbnails alone, I mean, I, I think that's a pretty weak attack. But it doesn't matter if I agree with your uh, conclusion or not. I think this guy broke the law. Or the American yeah, law. I think he yeah. broke the law. And he's an American, or at least he sounds it. Um, at least he's North American, at the very least. Um, but to, to silence you, because he didn't do it. I do think there might be a fair question whether you cross the line. JD is a dunce. Yeah, yeah he is a dunce. I, I do think there's a the fair criticism out there that maybe you went a little too far. But, I mean, his reaction is just, he, he doesn't give you much sympathy until Keem got involved. You guys yeah. all already know that. These claims are just full of shit. It's not true at all. So after he made this video and it gained thousands of views, his fans started Two. <laughs> harassing me on thousands. Twitter. Thousands. It's a bad day for me. <laughs> you know, you know yeah. coming into my Discord server on Twitch and doing a lot of different things that I really did not appreciate. You know, when people, other commentators, other people, like, when other YouTubers started coming at my throat, actually trying to side with this kid, obviously things got a little heated on Twitter because... I want to try to defend myself because I know who I am as an individual. I know I am not those things that they're trying to say I am. I know what my intentions were when uploading. E See, this is what this is how Keem helped him out because he's actually defending himself as being a nunce or not. That's irrelevant, and that's why not people. That's not why people are pissed at him. People are pissed off because he abused the copyright system. It's hard enough to get. The, it's hard enough to stop. Um, you know. Dr. Phil types, people that would have shows like Dr. Phil keep them from striking you down. Yeah. To keep them, and, and much less, and, and, and much less, uh, uh, keep a, a fellow YouTuber, a guy that makes his living through fair use and criticism. I mean, he's completely dodging it. It's, it's actually funny. Each and every video, they don't. They have no proof of anything. So for them to try to speculate, insinuate, you know, talking about people who make commentary videos, for them to try to act like I'm some type of predator, it's just absurd in my mind. After having a, quite a few exchanges with this kid and his friends and other people who sided with him on Twitter and across other platforms, I could all see that it's just one-sided. This was a built-up hate, preconceived notions of who they think I am based on other things that are totally unrelated. You know what? People are allowed to have preconceived no notions about who they they think you are. I have it every day. I've been accused of letting my kid choke, uh, not paying my child support, and still after I fucking brought out the paperwork. Tough shit. Tough shit. Sounds like you're in the wrong game. Get to the topic. You know, I went on drama alert and had a chat with Keemstar. He's just all one-sided on the situation. I, I don't think he really cared about the uh, the accusations, really. Because I he's, no, he's accusing you. <laughs> he's been in that situation before, but the only thing he really cares about is the way I handled the situation and the way that I um, went about dealing with it. So the kid made the. That's the whole point. That's the that whole. That seems thing. about what everybody's. That's it. That's it. That's, it right there. that's 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 the issue. The nuns issue is uh, a, a situation. If you would have made a video, if you're so hurt that Lieutenant Cobra made this video, you could have blasted him, absolutely blasted him right out of the water, legitimate yeah. punch down because of what because of what you suggested. No, you decided to to break the law. 
you decided to, and then that that's what get you that's get that gets YouTubers fans crazy, and it gets YouTubers crazy. It, it's the, a point. It, yeah, go ahead. I'm it sorry. just shows his true colors. Like it really does. The thing is, like, could this like mean something? The fact that he's silencing such a small channel. Yeah. From something so insignificant in my opinion like yeah that that is a bold allegation mm. and i never confirmed this nor did i say i believed it i'm not sure myself but everything my is kind of coming together you when you do something like that <laughs> i will help you when you come on the show <laughs> that's keeps <laughs> video people started harassing me you know the video was obviously slander people are saying that is criticism but i beg to defer the video stayed up for over a week, I believe close to two weeks, maybe one and a half weeks, maybe about 10 days, let's say 10 days. Um, and within those 10 days, it was hell. <laughs> Name calling, bullying, <laughs> harassment. <laughs> yeah, bullying and harassment. How many subs do you have, kid? Um, 2,000. <laughs> this guy's got 1.7 million. <laughs> 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 Grow up. Oh, you grow up. oh my god! Within that time frame, this kid had the audacity to come to my live stream one day, right? I was streaming, most of you were there. No. Some of you were there and some of you weren't. And um Just just pause that a second. Okay. Right. Some of you were there, some of you weren't. There were forty people in this live stream. <laughs> 40 people uh, I gotta I gotta rewind it because I did hear this part this is where I stopped it because I wanted to be surprised listen to this to my live stream one day right I was streaming most of you were there no some of you were there no. and some of you weren't and um he donated a dollar just to call me a pussy <laughs> <laughs> just to try to demean Unblock me, you me pussy, in front of and I'll talk it out. <laughs> it's it's funny because he didn't even get it right on the Charm Skull interview. He said that I donated and said you need this more than me. He didn't even get his own right. I get I get shit like this every day. What the hell is the matter with this guy? You called me a pussy. It's been hell. And keep in mind the video was still up at this time, and he was just pushing my buttons. Over and over again. Oh my god. On different platforms. Hey, that sounds familiar. Sending his mobs, his goons to try to... His mobs? His goons? Are you kidding me? His mobs? His goons? You don't have any. I'm not saying you don't have a fan base, kid, but it's just, it's not enough that we're... Yeah, this yeah I, you, you, I'm, not, I'm not dumping on you, kid. And, and you're really funny. I streamed it yesterday. You're funny as hell. You know, and I, I think you do have a future in this. Attack me. This was obviously a personal attack because if it wasn't, he would have just left me alone. He would have made the video and left me alone. He would have carried on. But this was a tactical maneuver and he a got tactical. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> was this personal? I think that's a fair criticism. Is this personal? Was this personal on your part? It feels it. I gotta be honest with you. I don't care if it was. This guy's a bully. Well, you know? <laughs> for so it's something that I don't stand for at all mm -hmm. exploiting children for views. I mean, yeah. I'm I'm 50 myself. I, I ain't an adult yet. And mm -hmm. if I saw people that I go to school with in the year below having someone over the internet calling them things like strippers and shit, mm -hmm. that is completely wrong. And also, there is a thumbnail with somebody with a child's tits in, in a in a bra hanging have, out there. Do you have that thumbnail? Because I haven't seen that one. You can go um through my media tweets, you can, or you can go on the original video and scroll through it. It's like Molly Trevega. Can you send that in this uh, particular chat right here? Because you find it while, while we're listening to this? Yeah, I sure. Fired it. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Because that strengthens your argument right there. I didn't think your argument was that strong. I'm starting to think it is. He wanted to attack someone bigger than him, gain atten attention off of it, which he did. Regardless or not, if I would have gave it attention or would have just ignored it, but I, I tried. No, that, that's not true. If you had ignored this, I would never heard about this guy. He would not be here. There is absolutely no truth about that whatsoever. You struck him, and that ignited the community legitimately. Whether Lieutenant Cobra's criticisms are correct, incorrect, or over the top, or even wrong. Even wrong. You fucking brought this on yourself. This is a hell of a way to avoid responsibility.
to ignore it. But when there's an outsider making a video, that's a different story. But this kid is like, he's on the inside. Everyone who follows me follows him and vice versa. So it's like, <laughs> it's hard to get away. God. You know, I- I've not got 15,000 followers, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you something, I would, I, I, I would be embarrassed if I was 19 or 20 years old and, and a kid your age made like, I mean, I have kids your age goofing on me all the time and, and let people like, let him it's tear, like being tear. in college and getting punked by a freshman. Yeah, I know. Right, it's worse. Go. It's yeah. worse. He's out of school. Yeah. I'll put this in the chat. I want to see this because I don't know. Bottom I don't know if thumbnail I could... there. I want to be on the left. Not some I really agree with the. Let's see, must be stopped. Daniel Bagoli. That's Daniel Bagoli. I mean, she literally got famous um, doing this shit. You know, what, so if I said to you, but... Dr. Phil literally does this every day, and he doesn't get called a nuts. He may be an exploiter, but not a nuts. Did you go over the top? I mean, because it is fair. Look, look. You're calling this guy a nuts. A nuns, a nuns, a, a pedo. You're suggesting it. I'm sorry. Let me let me rephrase that. You're suggesting it. Yeah. Is it fair to say? I mean, do, do you realize the damage? You're Look, you, you live with your parents. You're a YouTube commentator, all right? Do you realize yeah. the damage that can do to somebody? And is it fair to cut him some slack? I'm not 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 saying what he does did was right. He and he deserved what he got what he what he decided to do. But considering people are accusing him of one of the worst crimes short of rape and murder. All right? The worst crime. And you're you're joking around about it like it's no big deal. Is it not right but understandable the way he's reacted? Yeah, I think that that is something that you have to address and i'm not surprised that you'd have to say something about that because if you're getting comments with people saying that and tweets at you of course you gotta say something about it i never wanted anyone to do that mm -hmm. i want people just to know and be aware that you know this is a little bit weird and that and something that i started doing recently recently is reaction commentary so in this video i try to make a little bit more effort with humor and that so that's why i made a few jokes about him being an nonce but i don't know whether he is or not cabos just said say nonce properly you fucking nuts i'm not a fucking brick <laughs> i'm not a, we chased you people back to your own country i could say it where i want to how about that sorry you said it over i don't like saying pedo and i want to say nonce or not none how do i say it nonce <laughs> Ever since I actually ever since I started vaping, I started talking like you. <laughs> Kyle is a man. He's a good man. I think he's gonna be covering it. But I what I'm saying is is it is it fair to is it fair to say I mean I you kinda answered it already. But I, I gotta be honest with you. What he did was wrong, right? Yeah. But I, I have I, I mean this shit, I'm gonna put the picture up because it's I don't think it'll get me any in trouble. Um I'll put the picture up right here. Um, yes, it's D Daniel Bergoli. She's 14 years old. She literally was on tell on Dr. Phil. And it, 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 nobody called Dr. Phil a nunce. That's not been Daniel Bergoli. That's not her? Who no, is that? it's, that's whatever the first name, Malu Trave, whatever. Trevo. Oh, Trevu. All right, okay, Actually, okay. That, yeah. Then I, all right, thank you for, for helping me out here. All right? Yeah. All right, he is showing her breasts. There's no doubt about it, right? But is this any worse than what rice gum's done? Is this any, or or it's just, you know, you finally called attention to it. Is it any worse than rice gum? Uh, um, uh, uh, Dr. Phil? You know, if, 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 here's the thing. If I want to make a video like this, and it, the amount of videos aside, because it is a lot. If I want to make a video criticizing the way these people are behaving, right? How do I not show them behaving in this particular manner? And what separates... Uh, his videos from what if I want to make a video? This is unacceptable behavior. You're a creep. What the fuck? I had to show you what she was doing. What, yeah. You know what makes what makes this different? Is it because he called her names? Uh, is it because <laughs> the amount of videos? Is it because they're bare breasted here or not even bare breasted? Is it the low cut here? Like like what makes this different in your opinion? I think it just all adds up. I mean. There are so many videos on children, uh -huh. and the amount. thing is, Just Destiny hasn't been, he's been called out on Twitter before about this mm -hmm. from other people that I know, Sure, but I had not seen a single video on him 
talking about this at all. Mm-hmm. And I think from the title saying she's a, she's only 14 and the thumbnails, you're suggesting that she looks a lot older. And that that's just something I find, you find that really disgusting. Okay, fair enough. And she's certainly entitled to feel that way. Is it any different, though, when Dr. Phil says, look at this teenager, look at the way she dressed. She's coming on today, and we're going to talk to her about all the wrong things she's doing. And they're showing her with low-cut dress, belly tops, the whole night. Is there any difference between him doing that, Dr. Phil, who everybody makes tons of money on because he doesn't claim, you know, and and what, um, what this guy is doing? Is there any difference at all? I think there's a lot more consent in the Dr. Phil things. I mean, mean, most of these people, their parents might not even know what's going on. And uh, there's been some people he's talked about that aren't even that known. So with Dr. Phil, their parents end up coming on. And I think it's it's a whole big publicity stunt and that. Whereas this is just making money out of kids looking skimpy and that. And he sexualized them in the video itself. Really? By saying things suggesting that he he might be attracted to him and really? that that's what i think from it really see all these yeah videos. um you like, can what was one of the lines the, you're convincing me by the way i'm i'm uh I'm, there I'm, is I'm, a I'm, I'm starting to think this guy's file. creepy i'm starting to think this guy's creepy i'll be honest with you there's a media file link in the pinned um uh, in the pinned comment of my second video on just yesterday and that'll have some of the clips that when I was going to OBS to record my trailer, I used. It's on your uh, Twitter feed. Yeah, what and you have to wonder. Oh no, it's on my YouTube video. Sorry. Okay. You have to wonder why he deleted those videos. Not he changed thumbnails and titles, but then there were videos he deleted because in there he said some very skeptical things, in my opinion. What was one of the things he said skeptically that really bothered you? One, what what sticks out? Uh, she's looking like a 21, 21 year old stripper that bartends on the side. Yeah, that doesn't sound like they're hell- he's helping them, does it? No. Maybe it wasn't 21, it might have been 20. Yeah, that's, that's irrelevant. That's it. irrelevant. Yeah. No, that's disgusting. Because that means you don't give a shit. And that is exploitation. You're absolutely right. You're 100% correct. Because if it's just... like I, Mike, I was talking to Kavos offline, and I was like, look, if you're, if, if you're going to criticize the behavior, you have to show the behavior. And if you show the behavior and you're a creep, that's it. But... He's no, he's calling her a stripper and stuff like that. that means he doesn't care about her. No. That means he's not trying to help the situation. He's doing that. No, you're right. You're absolutely 100% correct. Good job. I'm glad you exposed this guy. No, because I didn't see, I, I didn't get to see any of this stuff. No, yeah. no, I, I, you got me. Just Kiro. Holy shit. <laughs> you guys are off. No, I, I did. I, I really wonder because I, I worry about people that are legitimately criticizing these kids, which I do think they're, it's worth. I, I mean, I would flip if I saw my daughter dressing like Daniel Bagoli. And she's, you know, and I've seen once. My daughter's 11. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's, it's, it, I mean. There, there are 11 year olds he's made videos on as well. Yeah. Literal 11 year old. They're not even old enough to be on YouTube. I'm really glad you, I, you were the first people so. on to straight up change my mind. Because I thought, I, I really thought you might be going too far because it, it, the seriousness of the accusation or even the suggestion or even joking around about it concerns somebody's life upside down. But you're telling yeah. me he's putting them on there, acting like he's above it all, acting like he's, uh, uh, that he's criticizing and then he, he would, ha- he would, ha- he's showing no empathy for these kids is what you're saying. Yeah, it's, yeah. It just looks like he's profiting off it. He's and prop- yeah. The, yeah. J- the jokes he makes, it's just something that I'm disgusted by completely. Gotcha. So am I. No, good jo- good work. Let's listen to this pussy, because now I really want to make fun of him. Pissed off. <laughs> let's, let's listen. I cannot believe this guy. This guy is something else. And then I want to get into what Keem did, because that just did not help the situation at all whatsoever just left me alone he would have made the video and left me alone he would have carried on but this was a tactical mo- maneuver and he got what he wanted you know well if you cared about those fucking kids you would have made one or two videos and been done with it he wanted to attack someone bigger than him gain atten- attention off of it which he did regardless or not if i would have gave it attention or would have just ignored it but i i, I like how that's such a crime for a guy who gets attention over other people's contents and actions i like how that's such a crime tried to ignore it but when there's an outsider making a video that's a different story but this kid is like he's on the inside everyone who follows me follows him and vice versa so it's like it's hard to get away you know i eventually ended up deactivating my twitter account because of how 
how messed up everything was getting. You know, people don't see this as slander. They don't see this as bullying. They see it as criticism, especially since he's, they say he's only a kid. He's 15. He only has, what, 2,000 subscribers. Okay, sure. But that's still a large enough fan base. That's still thousands of people to publish a slanderous video about someone. There's nothing slanderous about what you did. And, and it worse. Let's say you're wrong. Let's say your criticism was 100% off, right? Yeah. 100% off. You were way out of line, right? And, and you know what? For somebody, if he's, he's literally, he's, he's presenting these kids, right, as look at the way they're acting. This is wrong. And then bullying them. Yeah. And then you go back at him, call him out, and he's claiming, I'm being bullied. This guy, I mean, yeah. the, all these guys bully p kids for, he bullies yeah. kids for a living. We, What's we shocking it. is the, the yeah. title is literally mob mentality. And after this video's drop, video drops, I get a hundred or so people straight away saying, kill yourself. Sure. And loads of things like that. And you handled it perfectly. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't care. I don't uh, fucking care if you tell me to kill myself. You, you, <laughs> You're not yeah. going to see me in a noose next day because some 12 year old <laughs> or 10 year old would just discuss me telling me to kill myself. Hey, sis Destiny, that's a good me. advice right here. You should listen to this kid. He's obviously more grown up than you. <laughs> that's a good point. It's it's embarrassing. Yeah. It generally is. Are you a Jordy? No. What are you? Uh, Don't just say north, 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 no, you're a uh, west. Yes. Northwest. I'm on. That's that is way, way away from me. Yeah, nowhere near Newcastle, huh? I just want to know what you are. <laughs> With unproven and baseless theories about him being a pedo, like it seems to me that people just wanted me to accept defeat or something, and to accept the claims that I am some kind of child exploiter. No, they wanted you to release the claim. <laughs> Jerk off. You know who he <laughs> sounds like? Happen. What does he sound like? Number fifteen, Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> so it, what's that guy named Spooks? That's or something. That's yeah, that's the one. Fun. That's the guy that Verse makes fun of all the time. I forget that guy yeah. at all. So eventually, after he did everything that he did, you know, he started a campaign. He made a video. He built a campaign off of that video. He got clout and attention from that video. Um, he came to my stream with his friends, donated a dollar to harass me. You poor thing. My Discord. You poor uh, thing. I eventually had enough. Chills, chills. That's the guy. And especially after having talked to my friends and, you know. Other people online who I've talked to personally and them saying how all of this is just just BS. I wanted to take down the video. I wanted the video gone. So I did just that. After he pushed my buttons so many times, I decided to take down the video that used content for my channel to support claims of his that I was bloody insinuating and speculating. Yeah, and that is not what he's saying in this video, is it? He said it's slander, but in that text, that doesn't say slander, does it? No, it doesn't. So, Fully insinuating, well, speculating, and theorizing. Going, you, you, You're allowed to do that. Here. You're allowed to do that. That's not yeah. slander. Insinuation is not slander. If I had titled the video, Just Destiny is a pedophile, the title, pedophile confirmed evidence and all this, and I literally said in the video, don't go near him, he should be arrested, all this, and I'm being full on serious. That is slander. Yeah. From what I think, that is that is not what I did at all. No, I don't think it is. It's ridiculous and how. Let's not forget, he sent you a cease and assist, an American one, <laughs> and you're in the UK. Yeah. You, no you know, jurisdiction over me. Yeah, I know. Nothing. Uh, you should have, you should have set it on fire, something like that, and danced around it. That would have been funny. Or am I was, I was going to reply with a troll face, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not even lying. <laughs> I put it up on Twitter. I should have responded. How do you have it more together than this guy? I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. You have it way more together, together than this guy. This guy's like falling apart at the seams. Whether it be confirmed or not, it still had the same effect, and the video was eventually taken down. And from there and then, over copyright, he's leaving that little part out. Over copyright. I think I know system. a good way to solve this. What we just have, need to have both of you go to Doctor Phil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Dude, what's ridiculous? Yeah, you should go to Dr. Five Phil. minutes. Five minutes, let's say. Five or four, three. I, I don't know. I don't watch just Destiny. It's, it's shit content. Oh. Borderline. What's my New Year's resolution to be as dope? Scrubby, Lieutenant Cobra is secretly JD. This was uh this was all a publicity. <laughs> it's secretly JD. Scrubby, please publicity. not please not stream, please. Come on. <laughs> Which well the, the thing is, right, let's say four minutes of each video he does on the Dr. Phil shit. Okay. He, he uses Dr. Phil's clips. Okay. I used 30 seconds of his in one video. One video, and that's gone. Imagine the fucking outrage if one of his videos, and that's four minutes I of know. Dr. Phil. There's about well, 10, no, I'll, 20. I'll tell you a little story. My, my first contact with Just Destiny, right? He had a, a song 
right, that was uh, open source or it was Creative Commons. And then all of a sudden it wasn't. And whoever bought the song went right down the line and claimed all his fucking videos, which well, sucks. Which totally sucks. I, I actually kind of feel for him. Um, put Keem on. No. Uh, that's what I was going to bring up. Nick just messaged me. Apparently, Colossal Turkey Tom Keem and the Right Opinion all won. Well, Keem can't come on. Keem likes to fuck. Keem, 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 does, uh, uh, Keem slandered me. So he can go, fuck. I'd be happy to put those other guys on, though. Is that what you want? Because this is, you know, the thing is, this is Lieutenant Cobra's interview. If Keem wanted Lieutenant Cobra, I, I invite you, put Lieutenant Cobra on. And next time, don't be so fucking stupid and open up with, do you touch kids? Thanks for hanging, handing this guy a victory, Keem. Thanks. Good job. That was all you. That wasn't me. That wasn't anybody else. You fucked it up. You fucked it up. You didn't do it. This kid made jokes and shit. You flat out bulls out ass him if he's a pedophile. I just hung up on you. You made this guy a legitimate victim. And it's really funny how you're losing subs and this son of a bitch is in the wrong. And uh, guess what? He's gaining. And as Scrubby told me, he has a normie fan base. Nobody gives a shit about fucking Keemstar that watched Just Destiny. So we're just finding out just how weak Keemstar is. And good. 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 After what you did to me and my family. By the way, my wife says, fuck you. She wanted me to tell you that. Jerk off. Find another show. Put him on yourself, scumbag. Jerk off. My family was planned. I stayed in Germany to take care of them. That's not your story, is it? So go fuck off. Why am I still getting hate? Yeah, go f I'm not helping you. I helped you get back in this business. I'm not doing it again. And I'm under no obligation to do it. None. Fuck off. Fuck off. All right, let's off. get back to this interview. All right. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> key my fucks. Fuck off. Hey, NCO, don't save this asshole. He's gonna fuck you in a couple months. I'm not gonna. I don't need to help. Situation to newer heights. Now more people were getting into the situation because they were blindsided at the fact that I took down the video, right? And it was taken down. Not only did people start harassing me and started calling me a nonce and a pedo and a child exploiter, then they started calling me a copyright abuser. You know, literally everyone. Well, not everyone. Just the people in that. That community. I'm done. I, you know what I want to do? I want to. I want to have some fair use. I want to put on Keemstar's video and show you how stupid he is. We dropped the if, ball. If, when, he, when Destiny gets away with this, you only have one person to blame: Keemstar. Idiot, moron. What kind of fucking? What kind of person does this? You had this guy fucking dead to rights on the ropes, finished, and you fucked it up. All you had to do was down the football, and you fumbled it, like the bitch that you are. Let's watch this. Let's watch this fucking genius. This rocket scientist. Hey, look at that sound. It sounds legit, like a legitimate news show. What is up, Trouble Alert Nation? I'm your host, Keller Keemstar. Let's go right into the news. I think he's exploiting the situation. Now, sorry for my voice. I'm sick, but this is a story that I couldn't pass up. I needed to get it out to you. It revolves a giant YouTuber filing a copyright strike on a small YouTuber. Sorry for the voice cracks. Well, We're talking about as dope as humanly possible. Just says he challenged Lieutenant Cobra to a no holds barred YouTube boxing match. Would you take him up on that? Uh, can I like wear brass knuckles or anything like that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, you can. Slip them underneath. Oh, just Destiny. Just Destiny is a commentary channel with 1.7 million subscribers. And well, Just Destiny's channel is based on him doing reaction commentary, where he'll upload like a Dr. Phil episode and he'll react to what's being happening on the show. And well, in some of Just Destiny's videos, he was using underage girls in the thumbnails and they were sexualized. Now, to his defense, he was making criticism of these underage girls and why they were acting so adult, but still, this opened him up to criticism. And it came from a smaller YouTuber known as Lieutenant Cobra. Lieutenant Cobra is also a commentary channel, and he uploaded a video saying that 
He was wondering if Just Destiny was a nonce, a pedo, because of the type of content he was uploading. And while Just Destiny saw this video, he didn't like it that much, and he filed a copyright strike. And while, in my opinion, this was a clear abuse of the copyright system here on YouTube. So I wanted to debate this live on air with Just Destiny and why he thought it was okay for him to file a copyright strike on Lieutenant Corbra's video. So ladies and gentlemen, we have JD or Just Destiny on the line here. How, wh what is the backstory between you and Lieutenant uh, Cobra here? Like, wh what's going on? All right, so I never heard of this kid before until he made this video, basically spreading rumors, insinuating that I'm some kind of an aunt or sexual predator or pedo. Um, hmm. So he made this video, I believe, two weeks ago, sometime in late January. And one of my friends from Twitter sent me the video, and I saw it. I watched through the entire 17 minute video and like I was baffled that, you know, <laughs> someone could try to accuse me or try to insinuate that I'm some type of pedo exploiting children in a deviant way. Um, I, I was shocked and baffled and this came out of left field for me. And, and how did you he know? come to this conclusion? Um, based on what I've seen. Sure. So Cobra, are you the first person to call this guy out? Because that's how he's making it sound. <laughs> So he's had a lot of it on Twitter before. Um, a person specifically that I know is Kyle. Uh, he's a moderator on my Discord and I think he's in my sub box. Really nice guy. Uh, I've had a bit of drama with him in the past, but that's just irrelevant. He's called him out before on Twitter. Now, when I uploaded my video, I hadn't seen anyone else make a video on it. Now, and after that, I saw a video by a really small channel, which it, it's honestly awful what it says in the thumbnail. It's like... Just Destiny wanted to fuck me. No, Joe, that's what it said. But in one of the videos, the person was annoyed that I was getting all the credit for this, said that another YouTuber before me had, had apparently made a video on Just Destiny. I wasn't aware of this, but on this apparently... Particular, on this particular subject? I didn't get, I didn't get to see the video. Okay. Um, I think I watched it. I think it was maybe just a content review, okay. if anything. Okay. So, you're not the, okay. But you, so, so we could safely say you're the first guy to, to uh, uh, criticize him on this particular subject, correct? Yeah, on YouTube, yeah. Okay. From the video, he pulled clips, titles, and thumbnails from my channel. From, you know, I have over 100 videos on my channel, and some of them have been privated now, you know, for certain reasons. Um, but <sighs> Terry picked specific videos that are related to some Musical.ly videos that I did back in late 2017, early 2018, and some parts of late tw 2018. And these, you know, Musical.ly videos have been on YouTube and compilation videos, and I basically pull these compilation videos, talked about them on my channel, and um, I guess based on what he saw, he speculated, he pulled it from my channel, he speculated that I must be obsessed with kids because of the videos that he saw on my channel. Um, he's saying that I'm ex exploiting children based so, on the thumbnails so, itself. So you didn't like his video and you filed mm -hmm. a copyright claim against it? No, um, it was. it's not that simple. What happened was, the video stayed up for over a week, I, I believe close to two Shut weeks. Point, um, it garnered thousands of views. But what happened was, as soon as that video was made, people started coming to my Twitter account and calling me a nonce, a pedo, and all these, how could I be doing these things on my channel? And I'm just, I'm just like shocked, like, as to what they're talking about. I, first of all, in these videos, if you have context with them, I'm basically denouncing the actions of these kids doing these Hello? I was never in support of any of this stuff. Okay. And hello? Can you hear me? I, I just lost you for a quick second. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. So okay. basically what you're saying in your videos, you are saying, you know, these kids shouldn't be dressing like this, being like 11 years old or whatever. Exactly. And I would bring other points into these videos, but he didn't include that in his video. But was it, was it Lieutenant uh, Cobra's mm -hmm. point was that you are mm -hmm. using this stuff you are using these young kids in your thumbnail and as a subject matter, no, knowing you would get a lot of views, like you are using these kids for clickbait and potentially nonces, pedos would mm -hmm. be watching your video because of, you know, you sexualizing these kids in your thumbnails. First of all, if that was his point, then it makes no sense because for one, inherently YouTube, YouTube videos or the thumbnails itself, they're 
clickbaity in general. Like you want audiences or viewers to click on your uh, your videos. Right. So I mean, like that's a nuanced sub. Like people have had different opinions on that matter, and I'm just like, okay, your your goal is to get views. All right, we know this. People are saying that I'm sexualizing, specifically sexualizing children to get views. That makes no sense because I'm not sexualizing children. I'm depicting my content via through the thumbnail. Like kids are already, these kids have already sexualized themselves. If not, their parents were responsible for them uploading these videos and putting it on the internet. If me grabbing a thumbnail or a still image from the videos, right, and editing them and putting them in my uh, thumbnail <sighs> just to show what the audience is gonna so already be seeing video. later on after yeah. they click the video, then. What's up? That's that's kind of helping sexualize the kids in a way, isn't it? I if guess. I, I, the... I see. I don't think just the one video is going to do that by itself. It's got to be a series. It's got to be what, well, what, what's in the video. The, the amount of, of the, the, the sheer amount. All right. The, the what's in the video. The fact that he shows no empathy towards these children whatsoever. I think that's the most damning evidence against him is, is the lack of empathy. He doesn't give a fuck about what these kids are uh, uh, one way or another. He wants. He's in, fine in, making money. Yeah, he's he fine. He's money. fine. He's fine. Well, I mean, the making money part doesn't. I mean, I I don't think that how relevant that is. But uh, I mean, the, the fact is, you know, he's trying to expose these these kids and criticizing them and their parents are just fine. But he's also saying they look like strippers. So that means yeah. he doesn't really give a fuck. You know, I think that's fair to say. You know, I don't see what's the problem with that. That's what people do. You know, and they they think that I had some malintention to try to create an evil plot with all these videos and trying to attract pedophiles and all of that stuff to my channel. You know, millions of people have seen these videos. I don't think this guy is a pedo. I think he's a money hungry fucking typical just a YouTuber. Not just Destiny, no. just a YouTuber. And no no one to my knowledge has come away with the conclusion that I somehow so you did like, it, sexualized these children. So you didn't like the opinion mm -hmm. that the 15 year old YouTuber known as Lieutenant Cobra had about you so you filed a copyright claim against it to take down his video um okay so what happened was where's the part when he fucking i, I thought it was I uh, 12 minutes 15 seconds is when he drops the ball yeah well, shouldn't have done this it's so it's very unprofessional so if he apologizes to you, gives you a little context all right because we are we've already covered the fact i mean I, I, he, yeah. he he's released a claim obviously he's, he, he he's trying to get this he, he's 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 basically said that the, the, by releasing the claim, it's not his, even though he said it, it was. Only way you'll release yeah. the claim? And my thing is, is I don't um, think Keem did a bad job with the interview. It's just when it got to this point, it's when he's yeah, talking this to people parents, thought it either fucked. or, you know. Okay. Is, is that fair? I mean, I just, it seems really weird to me. It's like, to, to from the outside looking in, like, it makes me have to ask this question. Like, do you yeah. touch kids? Oh, my God. <laughs> really? But, but do you? Um, do you touch kids? Kim, stop asking ridiculous questions. Do, are you into under? No. Are you into underage? No. Oh, you didn't answer the question. You must be a pedophile. I mean, this is unfucking believable. That you can't ask a question. About you had a, that. Talk about fumbling. And sexually? Obviously not. Because this seems like a strange overreaction. Like <sighs> when you file a copyright claim on YouTube, okay? You're filing. I'm gonna. Legal... I want. I still want to talk about why. What triggered me to cop? Uh, to send this copyright claim. Okay, we'll get there in a second. When you okay. file a copyright claim on YouTube, you're filing legal documents. These are legal documents that you yes, I understand that own. You have to um, show content that you you have to uh, show content that you own and whatever content that you're claiming. I understand that. Yeah, but you didn't uh, you didn't own his video. It was 100 percent fair use. Again, that's a nuanced situation. May or may not. It may not or may not. I'm, I'm, I don't know. In fairness to him, a court's got to decide that whether it's fair use or not. But going by, uh, I don't know, the H3H3 H3 decision, I think he damn well knows it's fair use. No, it 100% yeah. is. Well, and so I just want I just want to say, um, I, I got to show you this something real quick. Bear with me. I don't know. All right, I'm done with that. He's totally dropping the ball, making this guy a sympathetic fucking figure for going over the top. Because you know what? That's more sensational. If this guy's a nuts or he isn't. And this is it's... supposed to be an enter. This is supposed to be a fair, clear-cut interview. Do you touch kids? Do you beat your wife? Have you murdered somebody? You might as well why, uh, answer all those questions. It's yeah. Just to say, I'm gonna just go yes, is he on the stream and on the on the video? And also, you you don't ask those sort of questions. It's meant to be like, I guess, equal sided, getting one side or the other, asking the hard questions. But that's just like completely unprofessional. And in my it's opinion, a loaded, that's that... a loaded question. That's a loaded question. 
It's a it's an it's it's an answer he can't possibly give. Yeah. It, 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 it's true he can't say so. And I think it's pretty fair to say, and it's wrong, 100% wrong, that he got triggered by what you did, and that's tough shit for him, and he decided, he thought that the, the best thing to do was make a copyright claim, which is illegal. You can't silence somebody, even if they crack, even if you insinuated something. But now... Did you, um... Yeah, go ahead. Did you have a look at the, um... The Charm Skull interview with Just Destiny, because he says that like he was abused as a child, trying to play a victim card. But then also goes, well, a lot of people may say that being abused as a child could lead to things like being a paedophile. I'm not that. So he dobs him. He plays a victim card. Then he also dobs himself in. He is unbelievable. And it, 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 it's it's, guy, it's ridiculous. You know what pisses me off. This would have done. Here, here, here's his stats right now. He's doing fine. His channel's healthy. And that's what pisses me off. Yeah, it yeah, sounds healthy. Twenty three hundred subs right now. Yeah. Way to go. Way to let this guy off the hook. This is serious. And the, the and you know what? Is it hanging around those fucking guys over there that that throw that word around like it's um like it's no fucking big deal? Is that is that what brought this on? Because it's just a painfully stupid. I hate to say, it, but he probably he probably owes this guy an apology. Oh, he definitely. Does. Uh, he definitely owes this guy an apology. This it's is just the only show time the in my work. life that I thought I would see red on Keem's timeline and fucking, I can't believe that finally, when I finally saw it, I'm disappointed. Way to go. Way to drop the ball. Because you had, you're an exploiter too. Why don't we go through your fucking thumbnails? And boy, you weren't this hard on rice gum. Let's take a look at rice gums stuff. If it's any worse than this as far as thumbnails are concerned. Vice Gum made a living fucking goofing on poor kids that couldn't defend themselves. Here we go. Goofing on kids. That wasn't a problem. You said he was going to be the next big thing. Boy, were you right. Goofing on kids. Oh, look, it's Daniel Bagoli. Dressed, dressed inappropriately. I guess he's, I guess, did you, t I, I don't remember you asking him if he touched kids. Way to go. Way to blow it. Idiot. Moron. The video shouldn't even been about that at all. I don't, I think that was I that could have added a bit of context. Kid, what what the video I, I, was about? I thought I was gonna have more criticism. I think you've handled yourself beautifully today. I think I I think you're right. I think you've made a strong argument, and I didn't think you had one before you came in here. And mm -hmm. I'm sorry that dipshit dropped the ball because he should pay for abusing the copyright system. Because now, because now, thank now he what's to stop him from clipping me right now? People are gonna think they can get away with it. Yeah. That's that's, can, that, that's the biggest loss of this whole thing. To... Hey, Just Destiny pulled it off. Maybe another YouTuber. Uh, maybe I can. Yeah. Next time he gets criticized. All right, go to go to go to on air. Uh, who's in the fucking waiting call? I'll put it. Uh, just click on on air. Uh, I'm just so furious. There he is. All right, I'll take calls. Critical mess. No chance. I'm taking Keem's calls. None. Me critical mess, you're on with Lieutenant Cover. I think that Just Destiny is one of the most cowardly YouTubers in the entirety of the universe. Agreed. He he had a 15-year-old with less than a thousand subscribers criticize him, and then he decided to have his only response to be to copyright strike the video. This guy is a complete coward, and he is he, he fucking makes a YouTube career out of criticizing people. He gets criticized once, and he copyright strikes people. Mm -hmm. He is he, he is an absolute terrible YouTuber, and um, yeah, he I don't understand how he is still gaining subscribers. I tell you, Scrubby, Scrubby explain this to me. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna release uh, an arcade video, which a uh, bulk of it is interview with the YouTuber Scrubby. All right, and what he said was the Doctor Phil stuff attracts kids. Young kids that are outside of the loop with the whole drama alert, scares, fucking YouTube world, and older housewives. So he can pretty much say what he wants. You have to share an audience, in other words, to criticize somebody and affect them losing an audience. That's why Leafy's audience was, was so affected when iDubs criticized him, right? Hmm. They don't share an audience. Just as Destiny is outside this realm. Outside this realm. And that's probably why he's not losing. And on top of that, he was made uh, a sympathetic fi figure. 
Because what what yeah. was said to him was was it was out fucking rageous, loaded question, and it was designed to shock. It was designed to exploit the situation, and it backfired, big time. And it's a damn yeah, shame he's going to get away with this. It it is a it is a fucking shame because um, one one of the things I I think that uh, Keemstar brought up, which I think was a good point, is that Lieutenant uh, is that. Um, uh, Just Destiny was trying to say that um, he was criticized by a major channel, and that's why he had to take action. But then Keemstar was going on saying that Grade A, Leafy, and all that sort of people made videos on him. I think that was a good point. He had, like, million subscriber channels, like, uh, mobbing on him, and all that Just Us Destiny had was a 1,000 subscriber YouTube yeah. channel, and that, that, co that caused him to, like, go... Completely ballistic. I'm sorry, no. Yeah, no it's just, he's, his videos. He's he's an absolute coward, mess. I mean, he's just it's so pussy. pussy. He's a pussy. He, he I, 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 let's say he's a pussy. He's a pussy. He's a ab absolutely. He probably I spent one dollar messaging him that. Yeah. From what I've gathered from here, I can fully agree that Lieutenant Cobra, you're more mature than him. I would agree. It seems like you can handle criticism, whereas just Destiny is just a coward. Who can dish it out, but when it comes back to him, he just goes and copyright strikes it. He is. Yeah. He, he, doesn't he literally makes people. videos making fun of people and their kids. Yeah. E exactly. I do exactly. the same. Like, I make maybe a serious um, point in it about being a nonce. And then, in, in my opinion, it's very different between America. I, from what I've seen from the I am Alex and I never stream last mm. night, mm. that if you call a British person a nonce, it's kind of all a joke, but an American. I, I'll tell you takes where I grew up in the where, where I grew up in New Jersey in the eighties and nineties. If you called the, the wrong guy a pedophile, he'd kill you. I mean, I'm not yeah. I'm not trying to sound like a tough guy or a really. If you if if you called the wrong guy and he thought if you if you said it as a joke, you might get your ass kicked. If you you if you were mildly serious, if it was the wrong person, he might kill you. I mean, uh, it's just that simple. I don't, and I, and, and I, I don't know what happened. I don't know when I was in the army and I came out and calling people pedo is a joke. I don't know when that came became a thing. I don't know, maybe it came from England. I don't know, but it's a real fucking problem. I, I got to be honest with you. I, I and maybe it's a cultural thing. I, I'm not going to sit there and criticize all of English culture. Culture. I know um, uh, this would never fly in the states. Uh, Australians call it other cunt, like it's like it's going out of yeah. style. The, that, the, that don't the, fly. That don't fly, the, especially with women in the states. It, it is, it is a bit of a cultural bar barrier. I will be. agree that. But uh, I, I tell you something, it's doing. Popular. I, I tell you something, I will sympathize with Jet Just Destiny on this. Uh, that type of criticism could make a lot of people weak, and he's weak to begin with. Maybe even not so weak people panic. That does not justify what he did. Oh, well, and again, I think he broke the law. But uh, I, I mean, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, being called a pedophile can ruin your life, and you might overreact to that. Yeah. And I don't think Lieutenant Cobra did anything close to what Keem did. Anything close. I, I, I'm not crazy. I can tell you right now, I don't, I'm not crazy about jokes like that. But I also think you were on much firmer ground from the evidence that you gave. Yeah. The fact that guys show no, no em uh, um, em empathy at all for these, these, these children. And, um, <laughs> and presented, it, is... presented it like it was like normal criticism. And then he calls him a stripper. It doesn't make any sense. You know. The uh, audience Keem has as well. And to make a fuck up like that, even even bigger than what I said, and that was in front of 2,000 people, that's like, that is major, that. Yeah. All right, man. Um, so I'm going to bring some, a few more other people in. All right, see ya. You did fine, kid. You did a great job. Uh, who should I put in? Who's in there for a while? Um, Dr. Cold. Dr. Coldness, you're on. Uh, oh, hello. What's up, man? You're on with the. You, you got something for Lieutenant Cobra? Uh, yeah, I actually do. All I have to say is, but in my opinion, both of them are wrong. Why is that? In some sort of different way. Like, if Cobra hadn't called him out in the way that he did. Just Destiny wouldn't have reacted. But that's not Cobra's problem. I gotta be honest with you. I never knew he'd do that. Not in a million years. I don't know if it's Cobra's problem. Like you, I, I think Cobra presented to... enough evidence that there there might be something along the lines of exploitation. If I, I would criticism. accept your argument if I marketed the videos that way. 
but I didn't. And there is literally a tweet on the 19th of January, the, or maybe the 21st, that literally goes, I think this is wrong, but Just Destiny is not a paedophile. And I tell people that. I justify why we don't know. We don't have the evidence. He hasn't done any acts that could make him a paedophile that anyone's aware of. And yeah. that's the, why I didn't market the video like that. Anything else, Coldness? Hello? Yes, I. Um, all I'm saying is you have to think about these things before you just put a video. I, I think he did. And I think he explained why he did. Thanks for the call, man. Well, let's I appreciate it. Um, I, I'm, I'm running out of time. So that's why I'm, if I'm curt, I apologize. Uh, Ooh. that guy's just have his mic on. Green man's gonna turn it into a joke, and I'm not in a good mood. Obama, uh, Jesus Christ, I can't. There's an old I'm, face. I'm Crimson in, Studios. Uh, Crimson Studios, you're on the air. Sorry, sorry, Bob. Oh. oh, dang, can you guys hear me? Yeah, you're on yeah. the air, bud. All right, cool. Because I always fuck up Discord, so I was surprised. All right, <laughs> what you got? Um. <clears throat> No, I just had a I just had a thought because I've been I've been thinking about this. I've I've been aware of like JD's JD or whatever for like a long time. And yeah, like, didn't I, we, I, I, had, I I because I freaked out before. Did, we had a thing with him where they they claimed his music, right? And he said he couldn't right. just because we, we all said, "Why don't you just delete the um the end card?" And Correct. Colossal confirmed that you can't after it means reads a certain threshold, you can't edit, edit the video, especially with views. <clears throat> but he started a GoFundMe. Which is completely right. bizarre, and, and that was my first. That's when that was my first indication there was something wrong with this guy. But go ahead. Right, and well, so I and like I interviewed him uh, about that entire thing on on my channel, like three, whatever, four months ago, or whatever the hell it was. And we basically, I just basically asked him about the copyright system and what he understood of it mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And from the interview, what I got is that he basically just doesn't understand how the copyright system works. And at the time when, when he came out of it, I, I had this sense that he felt pretty entitled to certain privileges uh, you can get uh, that with, from with the, the copyright speaks. system. Yeah, he, you get that the way, the way he speaks. I mean, the entitlement is, is apparent. I mean, the way he talks. And now, and I don't really care about any like the, the pedo stuff or mm -hmm. any of that, that gotcha. allegation or any of that shit that came out of this. But um, what I really care about is what actually can happen to him from all of this or i'm i'm more worried because he won yeah exactly he fucking yeah, I know won he, I know, that's, that's, that's what pisses what me off the most me. he won and i don't think there's anything anybody could do about it now see that's what i'm saying is is uh we just had like this whole spat in in nco not too long ago and and i'm thinking there's it's clear that he was in the wrong in all of this, 100%. And you can't just issue false copyright strikes and now there's going to be no action taken. So all of this banter that we're creating is all going to be for naught in the end. Are we wasting our energy? But at the same time, it's like if we, if we just stop talking about it. No, I don't think we stop talking well. about it. I just don't think it's going to matter. I hope I'm wrong. Let me clarify. All right. No, don't uh, make you make your videos criticize. Bring this to light. It's really important. Don't don't mis misunderstand me. I, I'm just worried it's not going to have any kind of impact. In fact, I'm pretty sure of it. But I could be wrong, and I hope I'm wrong, and yeah. I'll be gladly be wrong. There could be one yeah. YouTuber to save it all. Mm -hmm. Just somebody that can actually make an impact, because right. th this can't go on. You need to know the consequences of when you do things like this, so that it doesn't happen again. Impossible. How do you feel the fact that JD yeah. fans simply don't care a, about Keem or what the commentators have to say? Do you feel like it's dangerous that there really isn't a check and balance? That's coming directly from Scrubby. Oh, that's where the well, yeah, that, that, that's exactly what I'm trying to say is that there isn't a fair check and balance. And then we have YouTube who takes action and like takes down channels. Yeah. Some un unfairly. Like, like when the, this is this is the case where do you think, I feel like you could take him down fairly. Really? Really? I, did, he, did, he, did he break any TOS? Well, no, I'm not saying no. that they. Uh, I, it might I'd be exploitive. It might be exploitive, but I mean, you could make that argument about a lot of YouTubers. That doesn't mean well, they're breaking TOS. Well, I'm not saying yeah. that necessarily termination is the answer. I'd have mm -hmm. to look into the TOS rules yeah. and like read sure. up on all of that again. Gotcha. But what I'm saying is that there can't be nothing. 
Like he can't just guess like 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 he like a slap on the wrist or anything. Like he hasn't gotten any of that. I hate to say it. Really, going to happen. I hate to say it. I think that's just going to happen. Yeah, and that's exactly what what I fear out of the whole. Yeah, all sucks. It sucks. I I mean, if he came out, and I, I think the best thing he could do is come out, apologize to Lieutenant Cobra, say he overreacted because he was called this and he panicked and he did something stupid and he's never going to do it again and he encourages other YouTubers not to do anything like he did because it, it breaks what he, it breaks the system that he holds dear, the thing that made him a million sub YouTuber and that's fair use. And he fucked up yeah. because he, he got emotional and I'm human being and I got emotional and I let this kid get the best of me. Don't, I'm well, speaking out to other YouTubers, to don't do what I did. Possible. Don't do it. I take a break. Yeah. Take and a take, break. And take and, 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 and yeah, and, and and take a break. And I think that would Look be the, yourself. That would be the more. best thing for him to do. That's and I think and if he does do that, I think he should be supported. Um, if he says yeah. I'm taking responsibility for this, deny the allegation all you want because you know it's an allegation, and just say yeah. I panicked because people were calling me and suggesting that I was. Just, I mean, Jesus, I literally got accused of sexually assaulting kids two weeks ago. You know, was my New Year's right. but I didn't make any kind, uh, kind of claims because possible. the system is more uh, important to me. You know? He also insulted anyone that sided with me. Not mm -hmm. just this wasn't just like sided with the original video. This is just on a, a, a genuine scale. If you sided with me on the fact that he threatened to sue me, he even admitted in that Keemstar interview mm -hmm. that it was just to scare me. Is is that? Do you get enjoyment out of scaring a fifteen-year-old? No, he wanted it all. He thought by doing this, this would all go away, and it just made exactly. It, worse. it just, it just comes just back up. And it was really just a Streisand effect at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. What's my New Year's resolution? I'm defending this kid. Yeah, the kid has the right to fucking say what he wants. I'm defending free speech and fair use. You're absolutely right. Did the kid go over a little over the top with the suggestions? Yeah, maybe. But I tell you something. He's got a much stronger case than he used to have. Because well, this guy, Just yeah, Destiny, now, showed now no it's... empathy towards those children. None. Zero. Zip. It wasn't about, expo it wasn't about exposing um, uh, these kids acting wrong or their parents fucking, fucking, fucking up. It was about, Shut look at these crazy bitch. kids. Oh, my God. When I put Daniel Bagoli's fucking low-cut dress, I'm going to get more hits out of it. It had nothing to do with actual criticism. It was, it, it was exploitation. I think you proved it. I would almost oh, yeah. argue that all of the the criticism that that Cobra gave to him in the video, yeah. uh, all of the argument about being the nonce and all that stuff that that he's trying to use as a defense is almost uh, moot based on the false copyright really strike. Yeah. Just like just that emotional action just yeah. negates all that other shit because yeah. it's it's all of its like opinion. So <laughs> there's literally a video there. There's literally a video titled. Just Destiny wanted to fuck me mm. with proof, and it has nothing, nothing, and it obviously it's fake, but that's not taken down, and that is something extremely serious. Yeah, we right. still have up. Yeah. Uh, we st but my video gets taken down where no, I don't title it thumbnail. Yeah, <laughs> it's beyond me. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Crimson. Thanks for showing. I haven't talked Always. to you in a while. Take care, man. I don't know. A bunch of people today. Where the, where's the NCO now? <laughs> I don't know. I, I just don't think I should have to give fucking Keemstar some kind of break because um, uh, 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 it just look past all the fucking horrible shit that he's done to me. Um, well, because we have Keemstar to take down Just Destiny when he's the one that blew it in the first place. I didn't blow it. He did. It would have been a much different interview if I did it. And I don't have the audience. So I don't, owe, I don't owe them anything. He tweeted out he asked 50 YouTubers for their opinion on this situation, and all of them have agreed with him. Okay, good for him. I got two, I, I, I got 2,000. He doesn't bring up the pedophile thing or the yeah. touching kids thing, but he talks about the copyright thing. Yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah, yeah guess what? I, I know 2,080 that don't, and they're more important than any YouTuber. And if you would have just stuck to copyright, you would have been fine. You would actually probably buried him, but you actually made him a victim. Congratulations. I got fucking people in my chat right now. You chicken up for your kid? Yes. Yes. He has a right to say what he wants to say. He did not go to slander. And he had actually, he, he showed you why he thought what he thought. It wasn't like he just said, you're a pedo and just left it at that. That's not what happened. Scrubby. The only guy. Scrubby, you're on the air.
All right. Uh, uh, I just, I'm the one thing, I've been thinking about it after our conversation last night and mm-hmm. how we said the best move for him is to apologize. Mm-hmm. And then I, I know JD, we've had conversations. He views YouTube, uh, it's a business thing, right? Mm, sure. And I think from his perspective, there is literally no reason to back down or apologize at all. Well, he did. He already released the claim. Are he on, released, yeah, his he, subscribers are on his side, though. Like, no, no, yeah, but it doesn't make it. That's not true. But he's supposed to do what's morally correct, not not not, I, not what's financially. Correct. I know, but that's but if if this was a morally correct situation, we wouldn't be here in the first place. Yeah, well, I look. I, I got to be honest with you. I'm a little. I, I look. I we we, we talked to board about the thumbnails. I, it, there's obviously a lot more than thumbnails going on here, you know. And 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 the fact is yeah. to silence Lieutenant Cobra uh, when he put a case together, and his age is irrelevant, irrelevant. Mm-hmm. Only when it comes to the intimidation factor, because it just looks worse. He, he, it, he could have just as easily made a cease and desist on me, you know, or anybody else for that matter. But but it's the like thing, what's going on in popular culture with people, and like you know, one thing breaks, and everybody focuses on that, and then everybody yep. goes and looks. He and should. Anything they can he do. should apologize to Cobra. He should should deny the thing, and he should say that I abuse the system, and it shouldn't be done. I lost it because I got emotional, and I'm a human being, and I fuck up too. I think that would be no, a really I, good. I'm not move. disagreeing. That's what he should do. He doesn't have to I do it in his think, main channel. Yeah. He could make a tweet. Yep. He could do a video yep. tweet. It's in his a, description, but it is the poorest. Apology I've ever seen. He really, seen. I mean, it's he like, really. You and know, also, I apologize to the kid, and that is it. And that to anyone I, else. I don't think it's he thinks he's thinking wrong. Oh, I, I get that feeling, and that's the problem. Yeah. And I, that's why he's going to keep taking taking heat from the commentary community because he doesn't think yep. he's wrong. He he didn't take the copyright strike off my video because he he knew he knows he's wrong. He took it down because he didn't want to get terminated after Keemstar pointed out that. Yep. Look, here's the video of some guy that falsely copyright striked it and he got his channel terminated. Well, he tried to play something off. Something that I think we're all ignoring deal. is that YouTube has to approve the copyright strike. Yeah, but it's also, you can't it, just... it goes to court, but they almost always approve it and then it goes to court from there. Okay. To take it See, the next level, I've, I've never copyright striked anybody. Not, I just thought. They, no, they don't. I don't think they rule one way or another. I, everybody, I, everybody I've seen, they ruled. It, 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 it's either uh, Destiny pulls back or they say, go to court, guys. So whether YouTube yep. approved it or not, is it? They're, they're, look, their their lawyers are going to tell them don't approve anything. Let them settle in court because that's more money they got to spend. Because then yeah. Destiny could turn around and sue them. Mm-hmm. So just they they give the, you, you you file the strike, you file the thing. He holds on to it, right? You then you say then you appeal it again, and they say go to court. That's what happens. That's how the system works. YouTube doesn't approve or not approve anything. They don't stick up for creators. You know, and they didn't stick up for them, and it, it, it's 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 not it's not a, it's not something that they're entitled to decide. It's it's well, it's I, something the courts are entitled to decide. And it's even like glass houses shouldn't throw stones. I mean, as as a reaction person, you can't strike anyone for using your video because we do the same thing. I don't. It just yeah, see, that, and that's another thing. He uses Doctor Phil stuff. He could strike him at any time, and we'd stick up for him on principle. He didn't have he didn't hold those same grounds to Lieutenant Cobra, and that's the problem. And that's the problem. Uh. He should have either ignored it, or he should have made a blistering attack for for insinuating he was a pedophile. Should have been about much, it. That, that would it's a, a, a blistering attack on him. One of the two, and it sounds like this kid could take it. Yeah, and it wouldn't matter. Well, you know what? It wouldn't matter how old he was. It wouldn't matter how old he because it doesn't matter what mouth it's coming out of. It matters. It's the it matters as it's said. So it doesn't. His age yep. doesn't matter in that situation. So. I don't know. I, I, just, uh, I, I, if you talk to your friend, I think the best thing for him to do is to come out, apologize. I took it down and say he did it because he got emotional and he's a human being and human beings fuck up. And and not 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 because like look because I'm not gonna take the L because I don't have to. Well, I can't trust him in the future because I know he's never gonna do the right thing. He's only gonna make the business decision. Yeah, you know, no. that's I'm, the problem. I'm not saying you're wrong. You guys are 100 yeah. percent right. I just think you're looking at it from uh, a business perspective. You don't got to do it if you don't have to. I'm looking at it from a moral perspective. I think it's the right yeah, thing to do. Yeah, well, and you know what? The thing I, is, I, I think, think this kid. I think this kid would talk to him respectfully, and I think they could come to something to make where it yep, worked for no, everybody. I, I agree. I just think if if it was a moral decision, if he was acting morally and not on a business perspective, mm-hmm. then he wouldn't. We wouldn't be here. Well, explain. You know? I, I don't understand that. Well, what but, I'm saying because morally. You wouldn't have struck the kid in the first place. Yeah. And I, I understand, yeah, you get emotional and whatnot. Sure. But at this point, he's doubled down so much. I don't think he's morally in the wrong. Yeah. I, I, well, I don't think, okay. Yeah. I think he's in the wrong. I don't yeah. think he thinks he's in the wrong. Oh, yes. Yeah. I don't think he thinks I mean, he's yeah, in the he wrong either. Yeah. yeah and, 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 to me, so, and to me, that makes him look more suspect. 
And I think other people are picking up on that. But it's like you said, normie wa- normies watch normies watch his content. They're not they don't even know the fuck Game Star is. Well, I think in out of the 1.7 million, I bet you 5,000 even know about this situation. You probably yeah. I, I, there's not and, a lot of people that have heard about it that watch him. As soon as you see Keemstar make a fuck up like that, and maybe you don't realize that there's people at my school that just thought, "How oh, that was kind of funny when he said that," didn't really realize the consequences of that. And if you see people disliking that video and people in the comments sticking up for Just Destiny, Just Destiny fans will go over and go, "You know what? You know, I I'm a Just Destiny fan, and I'll agree with this." If it's completely keeps on annihilating him regardless whether you're a just destiny fan and you see a hundred thousand comments uh oh, you got hundred thousand likes to yeah. two thousand dislikes you're gonna go oh i actually believe keeps here. i have Even a much i i have a much more alert. important point than all of you have maximilian must just showed up in the freaking chat and he's the oh yeah yeah guy i win the argument <laughs> yeah oh yeah yeah <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, guy. Nah, Who's actually been even in here before? All the all the comments on the drama alert basically said, "Oh yeah, yeah." Uh, I agree the copyright strike was wrong, but he's not a pedophile. No, like that's, it's outrageous. That's and, 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 and and if he is, so is Doctor Phil, and so is Rice Gum. And good news, Flash, they're not. I think that's no, I think but, where where we're gonna leave it. I don't know. They blundered it. It's a blunder. It's it's, it's an actual fuck up. You know? I, it's, yeah. I ultimately, I like to see everybody kind of work it out. But uh, it, it's it's really 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 tough. It's really tough to have any sympathy, uh, what, what for him whatsoever when he's making. And I think you're right. He's probably making business decisions. Be, he's making moral yeah. decisions based on his sub count. That's not what you do, you know. And it just just because Keem dropped the ball doesn't mean he's wrong. He was probably right. He's right, except for that fucking one stupid thing he said. That one. I think it's question. important for people to be part of the community and not just shy away and do your own thing. I think as a collective. I just the, think this community this is naturally toxic. That's why people yeah. leave it. I got a guy right I, now. I, Tommy C uh, is Tommy C a pedo? He's honing Skype private chat with a fifteen-year-old boy right now at FBI. I mean, I get it all the time. <laughs> That's somebody just wrote. Wow. Yeah. All right. You know, well, I'm gonna head out. That's just my perspective. Was I don't I don't think he's in the wrong, and even if he is, even if he knows he's wrong, he's not thinking on a moral based decision. He's yeah. he's doing the play which that is wrong in itself. Which is wrong in itself. Yep. I got it. it, yep. it, it, it which is wrong in itself. All right, Scrubby. Thanks for the support. Thanks for All everything, right. as always. Take care. Have a good one, guys. Scrubby, everybody. See, I like Scrubby because he's not afraid to talk about the business scam, uh, the, the the business end of it. Yeah, I haven't heard anyone talk about that. To be no, he he always talks like that. That's what I like about him. He t- he, he he treats it like a job. Um, but I think it's a problem sometimes when you treat it like a job. You, you remember you're serving people. You're, you're serving people laughs or content or whatever, and 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 it can kind of get gray. But I, he's what he's trying to do. He's not saying Scrubby's or uh, Scrubby. He's not saying he's right. He's saying from his perspective, he thinks he's right. And why should he have to do it if he thinks he's right? I don't know. I, yeah. I, I do think you gotta you gotta say you fucked up when you fuck up, um, especially if you're I a public feel- figure, especially if you have a relationship with your fans and you want them to think that you're honest. I feel like the apology, if he did make one, would just be him feeling sorry for himself, acting sad, and it's just people going, "No, no, just destiny. Don't worry." And then. That just gives a lot of backlash once again. Mm. I don't think that any apology he'll do will make people believe that he was in the wrong at oh, all. Oh, he'll just make people feel sorry for himself. Is that really you, Maximilian Mus? Yeah, it is. Follow me on Twitter. Make sure. I don't mm-hmm. use... My Twitter got suspended. Oh, what a shock. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah. you, you can't play fucking Overwatch, right? You, you can't... No, but I got Fortnite, so I'm fine. But listen, oh, just God. Destiny's yeah. actually so dumb. Yeah, he was yeah. in my stream, and I thought he was a cool guy, but then I found out about all of this. I actually hope his, like, account gets suspended. Yeah, well, it probably won't. Looks like he walked away. Winner. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, how... Well, like, Keemstar said somebody else got exposed. No, 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 not exposed. They got their account taken down for what they did. For this? I don't know. Which was I'm similar. Sure. Yeah, some 2K, NBA 2K person. 2K that guy? Copyright I, strikes on I can't YouTube comment on that. I don't, I don't know the case. What, what determines if he's going to get suspended or not? Because he did it. abuse the system. He, he, he won't now. No, he's he taking the copyright won't. strike the off copyright strike my off. channel. So he tapped out. So that he wouldn't, he wouldn't have this, you know, weighing over him that he might get his channel terminated and that's all his money gone. Uh, was your channel down for a while? Because I, I think I searched for your name, but I couldn't find it. You might have had a space between the LT and the Cobra. Yeah. That oh, might have been a does it not pop up if somebody does that? Yeah. Can I yeah, ask I'm you not, something not, real quick? Because no. I got to end the show. We already went like 20 minutes over time. Like, oh. how's the Oh Yeah Yeah thing treating you? And by the way, that's a German song you ripped off. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually like the original song. Yeah. It's kind of died down. Da, but da, if you think da. what I did was big now, I have like way better plans for right. the future. It's going to be huge. Oh, boy. That's, I'll that's make sure to make a comment around it. Don't Congra you worry. <laughs> Congrat <laughs> by the way, make another one on it. Congratulations on that, by the way. That's, that's really good Thank stuff. Because I know me and you did not get off on the right foot a year ago. But, uh, yeah, but know. I never really disliked you. I just, you know. yeah, I know you're fuck. You were trying to, you were fucking with me. I, 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 I didn't get your act. You kind of trolled me. You got me. So, mm. Even, even, even the great Tommy C can get trolled. All right, uh, <laughs> yeah. Max, I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Let me end the show. Um, okay. thank, thanks for coming on, and giving your opinion. I do appreciate it, man, and all the best to you. Yeah, Max, no must everybody. It's a crazy show. All right, I, I got to get out of here because I lost my shit, and uh, <laughs> I, I got to be honest with you. I, 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 I guess I'm, I'm, um. I'm getting sick of the double standard. I'm getting sick of the double standard. Hey, fuck Tommy. Shit has never paid his child support. Oh, but Keemstar, he's a great guy. This is the almighty infinite, independent excellence. Devil fighting rebel titan, we smoking alchemists. Fake identities, okay, you cool with Jason Bourne. Running with these Wolverines, okay, you about to catch a storm. I ain't never been a liar, got tired of niggas playing me. Head in my legs like she about to catch a pedigree. Shy town of King's home, slapping fives, black stones. Six mile to danger zones, bullets look like waffle cones. So affiliated to evolution of Machiavelli. Don't make me read the Migos to you like I'm Chip Kelly. They feel my struggle. I express it through my hip hop. Yeah. I'm about to make it hard to breathe. Here's a headline. Good night.